Welcome to the show, welcome to the show, welcome to the show. And in this video, we're going to review The Real Housewives of the Potomac, Season 6, Episode 7. Now first off, I must apologize, I missed y'all for a few weeks, I missed a lot of episodes, and that's because I was on a well-deserved vacation back in the motherland, but now I'm back here in the U.S., so let's get into it. Okay, like I said, I've been on vacation, so I missed about three or four episodes of the show. But honestly, it seems like it really just started to pick up. So the ladies are down in Williamsburg, Virginia. You know, the old Confederate city with the Civil War reenactments and all that. And Candace invited them for a get-together, you know, a getaway. And the weird thing is, Candace divided all the women up. So there's two groups and one group stays in the big house while the other group stays in the servants quarters. Man, Candace is cold. <laughs> but in the big house, you got Candace, Robin, Giselle, Mia, and in the servants quarters, I mean in the cottage, you got Wendy, Karen, and Escala. Now Escala is the new girl on the, on the uh, show this season. She's a proud Habisha sister. You know, she's looking good and cute and all that. We gonna see what kind of drama she get into. But anyway, the cottage is so far away, these girls gotta take an Uber to the big house just to eat breakfast. And what does Candace think she's doing by putting the East and the West Africans in the back house? I'm offended, the audacity. <laughs> but anyway, Karen is upset because Giselle keeps calling her a troll. So you know, the War of the Roses is back at it again. And Miss New Booty Wendy, she been showing everything, you know, did she get this all these surgeries for her or for them i'm wondering but uh why not i guess because it looks like all the ladies got boobies so why not <laughs> but anyway i guess they are hating because giselle tells wendy that she needs to change and i mean wendy is coming off kind of gay <laughs> i don't know she's i thought she should be like saving all that for her husband but i digress click well Giselle and Robin leave the uh, table to talk smack about everyone. Now they actually like talking some stuff about uh, Robin's husband and her business and her depression and all that. And then they uh, setting up their aerobic exercise activity that they're going to do later on in the day. Well, okay, not really that, but Giselle just got in her biz about wine and her endeavors. Let's say that. So now Giselle is her life coach. <laughs> so Robin is so depressed that she's not even closing deals for a business. I mean, she just drinking. That's all she's doing. She is drinking, drinking, and drinking. <laughs> so now back to Miss New Booty. Uh, <laughs> she is just so awkward in this new body. I mean, she don't really have a sex appeal to be doing all the thought stuff she trying to do. I mean, she be trying to move and trying to, like, do these sexy poses and dances and stuff, but she just don't have it. I mean, she she could be, like, a nice, cool, little, sexy professor, you know, not showing all the, you know, not revealing everything. But, you know, this, this thought action she trying to do, it just ain't cutting it. Like, it just don't, it, it's not a good look for her. Okay, so they finally do the pool party or the pool aerobics thing. Everybody gets in the pool to participate except for Karen and Mia. And funny how like no, no, none of these women are rocking their natural hair on this show other than Ashley and Ashley ain't there. None of these women want to get their hair wet. They all got these condom swim caps on. And that's probably why they didn't invite Ashley because Ashley would just get in there with her hair. Don't care, you know. But it's, it's so much silicone in this pool. Wendy is floating. Like, they don't need these floaty weights that they're using. I mean, Wendy and Mia got enough silicone for everybody to float on. <laughs> okay, so they're doing this, these uh, aerobic dances and whatnot. And then Ashley finally shows up. And I must have missed something, but did Ashley actually save her placenta? And now she made her placenta into these placenta pills that she's uh taking man she is uh <laughs> she is something okay so moving on we got the misery loves company club which giselle robin and ashley are a part of 
because they all got the crazy scandals with their husbands so they trying to bring wendy in the fold because of all the rumors about wendy's husband cheating and having a side baby and, cra and craziness <laughs> which i know that can't be i just don't believe that because dude is pretty solid i mean he he's real smart and he won't be caught out there like that i just don't buy that one and just as planned wendy and giselle get into it so now they they about to be enemies because you know giselle and ashley bringing up how miss new booty wendy is acting all brand new with her new body and new tits and all that stuff and she is acting new but you know they they brought it up in front of the whole group in public instead of in private so you know that is an issue though and i might be all over the place but Candace got some good roasts, man. She roasts uh, Ashley about her breast pump and her big forehead. She is crazy, man. But she do this all off camera, though. She don't do it to her face. But they do get into it at one point towards the end in the kitchen. So anyway, uh, the question about Mia keeps coming up in conversation again about whether she was or wasn't a stripper. So now she's saying that she was an entertainer at this club that she met her husband at but before she said she was a bartender <laughs> now she gonna get busted soon it's coming so you know she said she was like a stripper who never had to take her clothes off like what <laughs> like with all the drama and the commotion going on candace decides to get all the girls liquored up with a whiskey party you know they invited this brewery this brewery guy over there and now they are drinking that brown and you know that make people want to fight so you know that's a dumb move but just add lighter fluid and it's about to go up that's all i'm saying <laughs> and yep so during the party you know wendy starts coming for everybody giselle ashley wendy everybody wow and the quote of this show is the life you living now is god paying you back for all the bullshit you've been doing <laughs> Damn. and yeah like i said ashley and candace you know they get into it and ashley started it all with this uh well no not ashley's candace started this thing off with the purveyor of fine whiskey you know she had to be there she had to start this stuff with the drama you know all this drama and this alcohol don't mix so that's about it for this show uh this episode i don't know more of the same I missed a couple of episodes, but I don't think I really missed nothing. I don't think you guys really missed nothing other than probably Wendy starting to, you know, go off on everybody. Now she's starting to, you know, she going to probably, you know, be on the show a lot more. You know, she her, she making her presence felt and it might be the silicone or the, the surgery, the stuff floating around in her body that's got her <laughs> acting all crazy, but she is not. She is acting kind of ratchet now. I mean, she was the professor, the goody two shoes, you know, the one with poise and, and you know, style and class. And now she is just, she just on another level. Okay, so that's it for my commentary, thoughts, and opinions on this episode seven of Real Housewives of the Potomac Season 6. So you know the routine. Hit the like button, share, subscribe, tell people about the channel. And I will see you guys next week for sure.